Yes, women workers do present problems, Joe. At the top of every company that I've been in so far, there's always women like a layer or two down, but at the very top layer, it's just usually a sea of white men. Women represent the greatest untapped economic force in this country, period. And I would say to you that the yawning wage inequities that still exist in this country, they aren't the problem, they're a symptom. It has improved over the years, but based on how it's improved very, very minutely year in, year out, it's estimated it will take 100 years before women equal men in pay. I think that there are probably are things that men could do to provide opportunities for women. I also think that that's probably something that is outside the normal thoughts of a man. I believe, honestly, if men had their periods and if men were pregnant and if men delivered children, then there would be a whole different benefits package set up in the world for all people. I think our nation needs to make some decisions about what we really care about. You know, do we want to be a nation of robber barons? Or do we want to be a nation where every child can grow up knowing that they will have access to basic health care, basic education, and basic fairness um, if they happen to be a little girl? Who do you think smarter in your class, boys or girls? Boys. <laughs> Uh, my interest in all of this really does stem from being a mom and a mom to a girl. And now I might get choked up here, but it really, like, it means so much to me to, like, pave the way. I mean, people have paved the way for me, and then if I can just help make little steps for her, it's enormous, because I, I don't want her to have these same problems that I have. You know, Molly, I've been thinking. Yes, Joe. Maybe some of those women and girls coming into the plant, maybe they really do need time off. Perhaps I could rearrange their work schedules for I'm them. I'm sure they'd like that. So many of them have two jobs, Joe. One in the home, one in the plant. 